Hello everybody, thanks so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. In today's video we're going to configure a 2022 Porsche 911 Carrera GTS Coupe. So on the Porsche USA website within the car configurator and the first step of course is going to be the exterior color which if I will be ordering the GTS I would go for shark blue. The next step is the wheels. Now the center locking Turbo S wheels are standard for the GTS, 21 inch in the back, 20 inch in the front. These wheels are finished in satin black, which I think looks very nice for the GTS trim level. The next step is uh, taking a quick peek at the interior finishes. And before we do that and make that final choice, we're first going to pick the seats for this GTS. And pretty cool now, Porsche offers the full bucket seats for the GTS trim level, previously only available for the uh, GT products, GT3, GT3 RS, GT2 RS, but now also for the GTS. I'm also going to upgrade the interior to the leather version of the interior so now also black leather applied on the top of the dashboard and on the top of the door panels the next step is going to be the options regarding packaging so here we have the premium package which includes the bow surround view lane change and some other nice features for me this has value to the car in terms of overall luxury level so i'm going to add that the next uh, category is going to be exterior we're going to look at the sport design package which is standard on the gts but i'm going to add the sport design side skirts and exterior color to make it even a little bit more sporty from a side appeal the next step is the rear view mirrors i'm going to paint the lower section of the rear view mirror arms also in exterior color shark blue which i think looks very very nice looking at some other details i'm going to leave the gts model designation on the doors uh, typical for the gts trim level i'm going to add the exclusive design fuel cap for 160 dollars which I think uh, looks great. And then also we're going to do the stone guards in satin black or matte black. A very retro look. And think uh, the GTS trim level with the sport design package being standard. Looking very cool. Okay, we're done with the exterior. The next step would be the options regarding the performance. So I'm going to go for the HP dual clutch PDK transmission just for the overall performance level. And I'm also going to add for a limited amount of dollars the extended range fuel tank and also the rear axle steering system which I think is great every time I was able to drive the GT products and also the Turbo Turbo S. I'm also going to add the new Porsche design sub-second clock which I think looks great versus the original uh, Porsche Sport Chrono clock and that's also a new feature within the Porsche brand. Okay, performance we're done. We're also going to upgrade the LED headlights. Now, LED headlights are standard for the 992 GTS, but I'm going to do the LED Matrix design headlights with the inside housing finished in black. The next one is a new feature. I haven't seen this in real life yet. The illuminated lateral gills on the taillights, but for $170, I think that's going to look great. Okay, we're done with light and vision. We're going to go to comfort and assistance systems. Of course, some of these items are already pre-selected because of the premium package, so we're done there including the ambient lighting, the storage package are already part of the premium package. Okay, also we're going to do the vehicle key painted. Now this is a cool feature that Porsche added to the car configurator where you can actually visual, visually see the design of the key pouch in combination with the key. So the key now painted in shark blue and the, the pouch itself is going to be black leather. I'm going to do the same for the lanyard and the side bolster. I'm going to do the stitching in silver which I think looks cool a little bit, brighten it up and some more deviation. Okay, we're done with the key pouch. Give it a few seconds to save uh, before we get back to the car configurator where we're going to do the next steps. Uh, the seat belts, of course, are black in the standard configuration. We're going to spice it up a little bit in combination with the brake calipers being red on the outside. We're also going to do the seat belts in guard red. And there they are. Nice little detail, especially, of course, when the belts are clicked in. And we're also going to add a little bit more details regarding the center tachometer once again finished in guard red and personally for me that would be enough guard red on the inside so we're leaving the the clock the uh, sport the, sorry the porsche design clock on top of the dashboard with the black background okay we're done in the interior category the next one let's take a peek at interior leather now, some of these features are not available because of the choice of the full bucket seats so let's just go one by one i am going to add the steering column casing in leather which I think is a beautiful little detail there behind the steering wheel. And looking at the other features, I am happy with the way it is. Okay, we're going to close interior leather package. Let's look at race tech, also named for Alcantara. The roof lining we're going to do in race tech Alcantara. Looking fantastic. I'm also going to do the sun visors in Alcantara to blend it in with the actual headliner. We're also going to do the seat belt outlet trims in Alcantara. 
Again, Rage Tax is now the official word for that Alcantara material. Steering wheel, um, we're gonna go for the heated GT Sport steering wheel, uh, but we're gonna do the matte carbon fiber finished one. So if we look at the inside now of the three spoke, this is finished with matte carbon fiber. And to add some more carbon fiber, we're also gonna do the interior trim in the dashboard here around the center console in matte carbon fiber. To finish it off, some more carbon fiber is gonna be the door sill guards that are LED illuminated. Every time you open a door, the beautiful 911 Carrera GTS model designation LED illuminated. The Bose is part of the premium package, so I'm very happy with this configuration. Uh, great blend, in my opinion, of sportiness, uh, some classic design features, especially with the black stone guards on the side. Love the way of the satin black colored Turbo S wheels with the sport design package having some uh, matte finished black elements both in the front as in the rear. Sport exhaust is standard for the um, GTS trim level, so adding rear axle steering system. In this case, I go for the HP dual clutch transmission because of the the speed gain versus the manual. Steering column casing and leather, roof lining and race tax, sun visors, outbed, uh, sorry, seat, belt, outlet trims and race tax. Very happy with this overall configuration. Let's have a look. Front design, back, clear tail lights again, standard for the GTS trim level. There we have the black stone guards in combination with the Turbo S center lock and wheels in satin black. The center tachometer in guards red. The seat belts in guard red and the beautiful bucket seats with leather and Alcantara. Let's just uh, turn off the background so we have some final look here of the, the configuration I just designed. Back once again. This is again the rear wheel drive version of the coupe. 3 liter twin turbo flat 6. Beautiful as all 992s are also now wide bodies. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Alexander. I'm a Porsche certified sales professional Porsche West Palm Beach. If you're interested in the Porsche, please contact me directly. My contact information will be in the video description. Please be safe out there and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.